Hey guys, so next up we're going to take a look at uh, gaining the sword. So first off, we're going to gain the sword to the inside. The opponent now is going to disengage. They're going to do a cavazione, as they call it in Italian rapier. We just call it a disengage or a change of line and dip the point underneath. And then from there, you're going to continue and counter forward. So the thing with the gain is a lot of times it sets up some cool second attention stuff. It's just like a feint. You don't know how the person is going to react to the feint. It's a feint with a mechanical advantage. So you extend the sword out, and then whatever they do, you force them to kind of show their hand, and then you exploit it by minimizing kind of their options. So Cody knows that if he gains my blade, I'm probably going to want to change the line or disengage because I want to have the advantage. I don't want him to have the advantage. So after that, he's going to counter me. Outside. It's pretty advanced fencing, but it's kind of rapier one-on-one. You're really going to point yes, and that's enough. Right? So he does exactly yeah, the same beginner. The coach disengages here and attempts to thrust, and he counters me. So that's the reason why you only want to half turn the hand, is because my point is still fairly free. I can change the lines at any time. So if he half turns his hand into inside guard, and then as I put, I disengage and put my point on his outside, then he makes a small motion turns it to half outside and then pops it up at the end with full outside. If I do this, you go for my blade, I go here. Oh. So now we're presenting it with an option. So instead of um, instead of disengaging, this time I'm going to try to force my way through and all he has to do is extend his arm to the inside and now I'm mixing it up. So he starts his attack gain, I counter attack uh, either inside or outside and he follows me with his hand and just pushes through because he's begun the thrust. He has the advantage, he's farther forward. No matter what, in this scenario, he's in control. No matter what I choose, if I go either way Good. with an Try attack. Try to get that arm out farther and straighter. Because right now you're going... Yeah. And it should just be... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still turning it high right away. Okay. So no matter what I do here for my counter attack, I'm screwed because he knows the options. And that's the whole thing with rapiers. You want to set up an advantage so that you